Today's tips to your mailbag question comes to us from Italy. Robert, I'm considering buying a CNC machine to use in Luthery. Do you have any experience with this and what advice can you offer? Stefan in Italy. Well, Stefan, I have three basic rules that I never talk about. Three basic things, and that is politics, religion, and Brazilian football clubs. And I'm going to add to the list CNC machines. Because you can open up a can of worms real quick about whether or not to use a CNC machine and can you still call it handmade. Uh, yes, I do have uh, some advice and I've had some experience with CNC. However, I have a friend, John Resler, uh, at uh, Mark Adams School of Woodworking that has quite a bit of experience with this and he's also a guitar builder. I'm gonna call him on the camera here and we'll let him answer your question. So this is John Resler from the uh, Mark Adams School of Woodworking. Been there for a number of years actually. 12 you? years. 12 years, teaching guitar building and other types. Right. Other instruments. And John, uh, you have a stair building business. I do. And use a lot of CNC. We do. Do you use it in Luthery? Um, not really. All right. <laughs> Elaborate, please. Well, I'm a stair builder by day, and we have about 40 employees, so it's a large company. And in order to stay competitive, we use CNC to okay. manufacture things and to get really close tolerances. And, you know, it's, it's just a way of um, managing our resources and um, doing things quicker right. so we can be more competitive. I use CNC. I love CNC. I use it for making forms and some things like that. But when it comes to guitar building... I don't even consider it <laughs> because <laughs> why not? <laughs> well, yeah, okay. for a couple of reasons. One is if you're going to get into CNC, you need to decide if you're going to be a woodworker who makes things with your hands, um, or if you're going to be a computer programmer, <laughs> okay. because you're going to spend a lot of your time just figuring out how to program yes. the machine to make what you want. And for me, the satisfaction of building the guitar is actually working with my hands, right. feeling the wood with the chisel creating sawdust, and um, just creating a guitar handmade. Right. So for me, it's a little bit different because I do use it in my business, mm -hmm. but I don't want my guitar work to be my business. And you also don't want to see and see your guitar work. Right, exactly. Perfect. Now, if I had a guitar business, I would probably consider that because now I have to be competitive. I have to make things quicker, repeatable, and that type of thing. So, so bottom it, line. It, it depends on what your goals are and what you're trying to accomplish. If you want to be competitive, uh, high output perhaps, production work, then by all means? By all means. Perfect. But if you want to build a guitar and enjoy the process, right. then for me, no. <laughs> all right. Well, John, thank you for your opinion. Thank you. Certainly appreciate it. Stefan on Italy, I hope that uh, answers your question. Mm -hmm.